Hey, Chris Chandler here. So yeah, good question. Um, you know, again, it's about kind of understanding what square is. And so like, I always, you know, I'm going to check that close, you know, for you, I think square is probably going to look a little open to you for just a little while. Um, you know, it's like you look down and you're like, whoa, that's, that looks open, but it's actually square. Um, but, uh, you know, in the backswing, you know, because you're just, you want to just rotate and keep everything connected. And so there's no real, like if I were to, if I were to like roll my hands or something that would kind of fan it open. Um, but again, it just feels like rotation. And then it feels like the, you know, the, the arm is folding and, and hinging. And so like, what I always like to check, I kind of like what Steve Stricker does. Um, not sure if you know who he is, but Steve Stricker, he's a great ball striker. Kind of has a one plane swing. But whenever Steve goes in the back swing, he always kind of rotates and he checks about halfway back. And he looks at that club face and he likes to see the grooves basically pair, you know, going right up to the sky. So nice and square there. So that'd be a good thing to do. Just kind of go into your backswing and check like halfway back. You want that club to be square as opposed to a little bit, a little bit shut down. That, that would be closed. That would be open. That would be pretty square. So I would check that. And the last thing is, you know, once you get, once you get that feel of that square position for you, you almost want to feel like you're almost trying to come over the top a little bit, over the top and hit cuts. That'll help you with your rotation and everything.